Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. Bill Rapkin has a, another question. Uh, he has a problem with a multi-clip. And by the way, Bill posted this in the forum, and I, I, I wish I had the time to check the forum every hour, but I do check my forum every couple days. And if you do have questions, please go to my forum, larryjordan.biz slash forum, and ask your questions, and I will get back to you. And the benefit is there's a lot of people that look on the forum, and you're going to get questions answered from a lot of folks, not just me. There's a really nice place to, to ask questions, to learn by just reading questions that other people have asked, and to participate by providing answers yourself. It's LarryJordan.biz slash forum. Okay, anyway, Bill writes. Um, he is uh, working for a local community public access station. He shoots several events each month, typically with three cameras. He shoots on mini DV, creates a multi clip, and begin editing. Here's his problem If I have stopped playing the timeline and want to change the clip at the playhead to a different angle, he clicks on the angle's switch video to that angle button in the multi clip toolbar or clicks that angle in the viewer. Sometimes this works as expected, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the multi-clip stays connected, and sometimes it doesn't. It's driving me to heavy drinking. What is the problem? Well, it could be a couple things, but the first thing that I always suspect is that it is a preference issue. I just happen to have a multi-clip here. We'll select our clips. Modify, make multi-clip. By the way, I just finished a whole tutorial on multi-clip. So if you want to know a lot of how multi-clips work, uh, that tutorial is in our store, and you can download it. I spent an hour, almost an hour and 15 minutes, talking about how to, um, how to work with, how to modify, how to create multi-clips. All right, let me just turn off that multi-clip overlay here. Okay, good. Now... There's a really cool keyboard shortcut. If I edit this multi-clip down to the timeline, if it disconnects, the principal reason that it disconnects is because of this pop-up menu up here. Notice when that pop-up menu is, is set to sync off, there's no relationship between the clip that's in the timeline and the clip that's in the viewer. If by double-clicking a clip, you go to a single clip in the viewer, it's probably because this sync off button got reset. And it may be there's a hidden keyboard shortcut that does it. But what you want to do is to make sure that this middle menu is always set to open. This opens the clip in the timeline into the viewer. So my suspicion is, is that either we have preferences in Final Cut which have become trashed, and we need to delete them and rebuild them. That's the first thing I suspect. The second thing I suspect is that the middle pop-up menu here has gone from open to sync off, at which point it now treats the individual clips in a multi-clip as though they are individual shots and loads them back up so you just see a single clip. Under the Tools menu, under Keyboard Layout, is this very cool choice called Multi-Camera Editing. What Multi-Camera Editing does is it turns your keypad, because I've never liked the buttons for multi-clip editing, it turns your keypad on the far right side of your computer into a multi-clip editor. If on the keypad you just type a number, in this case 1, Notice that it changes the shot, but it doesn't put an edit point in. If, on the other hand, you type, you hold down the command key and then type a number, it forces an edit point and changes the shot. I'm just moving the playhead, and then I'm typing command 1, 2, 3, or 4, and it's automatically editing the multi-clip at the position of the playhead and changing the shot to the shot that I select. Now, what Bill was saying he had a problem with is if he adds a transition here, and for some reason his clip is on a transition, at this point it will disconnect this pop-up up here, which I've never seen happen. So I'm not saying, Bill, that you're wrong. I'm just saying I haven't seen it. But when that kind of weird behavior kicks in, the first thing I suspect are blown Final Cut preference files. And the other thing you might want to experiment with in your own editing is changing the tools, keyboard layout, multi-camera editing, to, to allow you to do command keypad typing to see if that solves the problem. Just something to think about. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.